Okay, so now that we talked a little bit about picking a look, let's talk about grading environment. So what do I mean by grading environment? Basically, in any professional color grading suite, the basic idea is that the room you're in, the surroundings you're in, really affect how you will grade something. In all professional grading studios, the basic idea is to have the least amount of visual distraction that may bias how you see an image. Let's say that you are grading something on your laptop and you're in a bright coffee shop and your back is facing the window and you have bright sunlight hitting your monitor screen. Well, and let's also say that you're grading a dark scene in a film. The decisions you make will be completely different than if you were in, say, a dark grading studio with a 50-inch calibrated screen with a bias light behind you and 18% gray walls behind that monitor. So how does this affect what you're doing? Basically, what you want in a grading environment is a completely unbiased space that's surrounding your display. What you would want to have is a calibrated reference monitor with a bias light, 65K lighting, which is a fancy word for white light, not yellow light, not blue light. When you buy a bulb at the store, for example, it's most likely that that light bulb will be 2700 Kelvin, which is very warm light, or it might be another very cool light, and that will affect the decisions you make. But if you have pure white light and you want a scene in your film to have, say, a yellow hue, because that light is white, when you're adjusting something on your monitor that's supposed to look yellow, it will look yellow. Let's say you were in a room with red walls and a 27 Kelvin warm yellow orange light in the room. If you had a scene that you wanted to be, again, yellow and warm, then you would probably push the warmth in your image. It would still not look right. You would push it even more and you would keep pushing it until the warmth and the yellow orange look on your display looked warm enough compared to the surroundings. Then when you went out into the real world and viewed this uh, image, it would look really, really warm. It would look too warm. So that's how the surroundings that you're in affect what you're doing.